What are the strongest military vehicles of the armed forces of the Philippines? What are the most advanced machines in their arsenal? And can they compete against the best militaries in the world? In this video, we'll find out together as we explore the top 10 most powerful military vehicles of the Philippine Army. In this ranking, we'll include solely land vehicles, leaving warships and aircrafts for future contents. But before we start our journey, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more content like this. And now let's dive deep into military technology with the first machine in our list. Number 10, M1074 Jabs. The M1074 Joint Assault Bridge System is an armored military engineering vehicle designed for the U.S. Army and Marine Corps, based on the robust M1A1 Abrams tank chassis. Developed by Leonardo DRS, this vehicle is essential for quickly deploying bridges in combat zones, enabling troops and vehicles to cross obstacles like rivers or ravines efficiently. Equipped with a heavy assault scissor bridge, Eric B, it can span gaps up to 60 feet in just three minutes. The M1074 features advanced hydraulics, a bridge launcher mechanism, and embedded diagnostics, ensuring reliability in the field. Its design leverages components from the M1A2 Abrams, such as the suspension and engine, to improve maintenance and readiness. While the vehicle itself is unarmed, it enhances survivability with armor and advanced situational awareness systems. Number 9. GKN FS100 Simba. The GKN FS100 Simba is a 4 wheeled armored personnel carrier designed by GKN Sankey, primarily used by the Philippine Army. Built for versatility and export, the Simba features a left-hand drive with the driver seated at the front left and a Perkins diesel engine positioned to the right. The semi-automatic gearbox allows for both 4 mower 4 and 4 PR2 configurations enhancing its adaptability in various terrains. The troop compartment, located at the rear, accommodates up to 10 soldiers, though eight is optimal. Troops can exit via a large rear door or a side door on the left, while the driver and commander have access through the cupola hatch and side door. The vehicle typically mounts a one-man turret with a 50 BMG M2 Browning heavy machine gun, but some variants include a 25mm cannon with a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. Additionally, the turret can be retrofitted with an automatic grenade launcher. Number 8. Humvee. The high-mobility multipurpose wheeled vehicle, commonly known as the Humvee, is a versatile four-wheel drive military truck developed by AM General. Designed to replace older vehicles like the original Jeep and Vietnam-era M151, the Humvee has become a staple of the U.S. military, serving in various roles from troop transport to cargo hauling. The Humvee gained widespread recognition during the Gulf War in 1991, where its ability to navigate challenging desert terrain was highlighted. This performance also inspired civilian versions known as Hummers. Initially, the Humvee was produced without armor, but its vulnerability to improvised explosive devices during the Iraq War led to the rapid development of up-armored versions. Despite these upgrades, the Humvee was eventually replaced in frontline roles by the MRAP vehicles and, more recently, by the Oshkosh LATV under the Joint Light Tactical Vehicle Program. Number 7. GDEL's ASCOD the ASCOD is a versatile family of armored fighting vehicles developed through a collaboration between Austria's Steyr Daimler Puch AG and Spain's General Dynamics Santa Barbara Sistemas. Now both part of General Dynamics, the ASCOD lineup includes various configurations like the LT-105 light tank with a 105 mm gun, missile launchers, mortar carriers, command vehicles, and ambulances. The main variant is the tracked infantry fighting vehicle it features a front-mounted engine and a rear troop compartment, with the driver positioned at the front left and the commander and gunner seated in a two-man turret, slightly offset to the right. The turret houses a 30mm Mauser MK-32 autocannon, capable of firing up to 770 rounds per minute with high accuracy, even on the move. As secondary armament, the Ascot is equipped with a 7.62mm machine gun, with different models like the Spanish Pizarro, and Austrian Uhlen, using variations such as the MG3 and FN Mag, respectively. 
Number 6. VBTP MR Gorani The VBTP MR Gorani is a 66 Duxing 6 armored personnel carrier developed by Ivico in collaboration with the Brazilian Army as part of the Urutu 3 modernization program, designed to replace the aging EE 11 Urutu vehicles. The Gorani is a highly versatile vehicle, featuring a modular design that allows it to be equipped with various turrets weapons, sensors, and communication systems, making it adaptable to different military roles. It also has amphibious capabilities, allowing it to operate in a variety of environments, including rivers and lakes. The Brazilian Army's initial contract with Ivico, valued at approximately 2.5 billion, called for the delivery of 2,044 Guarani vehicles, with logistical support spanning 20 years. This contract was later adjusted to 1,580 units, with a delivery schedule extending to 2035, and further reductions to around 900 units are being considered. Number 5. Sabra Ascod Tion 2 The Sabra Light Tank is a series of armored fighting vehicles developed by Elbit Systems to meet the Philippine Army's need for a versatile light tank and tank destroyer. This platform comes in two configurations, a tracked version based on the ASCOD 2 platform from GDELS, Santa Barbara Sistemas, and a wheeled version based on the 88 Pander 2 platform from Czech manufacturer Excalibur Army. In 2021, Elbit Systems secured a $172 million contract to deliver these tanks to the Philippine Army. Weighing 30 tons, the Sabra light tank features a modular design with a common 105mm manned turret for both tracked and wheeled versions. The turret is fully electric, offering stabilization in elevation and traverse, and is equipped with a dual-axis high-performance system that provides hunter-killer capability, combining firepower with maneuverability. Number 4. FNSS ACV-15 The FNSS ACV-15 is an amphibious infantry fighting vehicle developed by Turkish defense company FNSS Savunma System Larry. AESH, with manufacturing also done by Malaysia's DevTech. The ACV-15 is designed to blend the capabilities of both an IFV and an armored personnel carrier. It is based on the American Advanced Infantry Fighting Vehicle, which itself is derived from the M113A1 armored personnel carrier. Weighing 14 tons, the ACV-15 is 17.3 feet long, 9.3 feet wide, and 9.4 feet tall. It accommodates a crew of three plus eight infantry soldiers. The vehicle is armed with a 25mm NSS sharpshooter turret as its main weapon, supplemented by a 7.62mm machine gun for secondary defense. It provides protection against 14.414mm armor-piercing rounds, offering solid defense for its occupants. Powered by a 300-horsepower Detroit diesel model 6V53T engine, the ACV-15 has a power-to-weight ratio of 21.43 HP per ton. Number 3. AIFV-25 The AIFV-25 is a U.S.-developed light-armored vehicle designed to enhance the capabilities of infantry forces. It evolved from the M113A1 armored personnel carrier and is widely used by several countries. The vehicle's hull is constructed from welded aluminum, with additional steel, laminate-spaced armor bolted to the front and sides. The armor's voids are filled with polyurethane foam, which not only provides additional protection, but also enhances buoyancy, allowing the AIF V25 to swim without needing flotation curtains. It propels through water using its tracks, aided by a front-mounted trim vane. The AIF-25 is powered by an engine located at the front right of the hull, similar to that of the M113A1, but with enhancements like a larger radiator and a turbocharger. The driver is positioned to the left of the engine, with a hatch above and periscopes for visibility, which can be upgraded for night driving. Number 2. M100 Nurthrene A22 Bonds FSV the M113 Narj Tugum's fire support vehicle is a fully tracked armored personnel carrier developed by FMC Corporation. Originally introduced in the early 1960s, the M113 became a staple of the U.S. Army, especially during the Vietnam War, 
where it was widely used to transport troops and break through dense jungle terrain. Known as the APC or ACRV by Allied forces, the M113 played a crucial role in mechanized infantry operations. The M113 was notable for being the first mass-produced combat vehicle with an aluminum hull, which made it significantly lighter than its predecessors. This aluminum armor was thick enough to protect against small arms fire, while keeping the vehicle light enough for air transport and moderate amphibious capabilities. Number 1. Pandur 2 105 Nader. The Pandur 2 105 Mixberm is a versatile and modular armored vehicle developed by Steyr Daimler Puch Spezialfahrzeuge, now part of General Dynamics European Land Systems. Building on the success of the original Pandor 666, the Pandor 2 offers enhanced mobility, protection, and firepower, making it a highly adaptable platform for various military roles. Weighing approximately 32,000 pounds, the Pandor 2 measures 289 inches in length, 105 inches in width, and 82 inches in height. It can accommodate a crew of two along with up to 12 additional troops, depending on the configuration. The vehicle's design emphasizes flexibility, allowing it to be equipped with a range of primary armaments. And there you have it, folks. These were the top 10 most powerful military vehicles of the Philippine Army. Which one impressed you the most? Let us know in the comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay safe and always stay curious.